So I actually decided to buy the Gamma plushie. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty skeptical of this at first, and that's why I tweeted out asking people, should I buy the Gamma plushie? Kind of as a joke, and I just wanted to see what people thought of it and kind of go from there. And a lot of people did say that I should buy it and to unbox it, to make a video on it, but that's not gonna be for a while because they are not shipping out these things if you did buy it now. They're not shipping these until next year, like January of next year. So we got a while, but I will show the actual page of the Game of Plushie and uh, everything involving that. But it's just funny that they even did this because it just came out of nowhere. All of a sudden, the Wiz Twitter was transformed into Gamma. And since on my phone, I get the notifications from Twitter if Wiz101 tweets anything. And all of a sudden I was getting these gamma tweets to my phone and I was like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> when did I follow um, this gamma Twitter page? And it actually turned out that they changed their profile picture and their name and everything to become gamma in order to promote this plushie. Well, it seems like that worked because they put a minimum of 200 on the makeshift site in order to, you know, sell that many and then they'll start producing these. And they've already hit 1700. So here is the actual makeshift page right now. And there's still 27 days left in this campaign. So it's a limited time for the game of plushie. And once this ends, then you won't be able to purchase this anymore. They've already sold 1700 of these and it doesn't ship till January 11th, 2022, pretty far out. But I mean, it is something that probably takes a long time to produce plus we have to wait out the uh, availability so they probably wait until that and then they see okay how many do we have to make and then they decided to produce all those at the same time and ship them but yeah we have to wait a little bit and what's funny is yes it's $25.99 which you might look at that and be like that's pretty expensive for a plushie but keep in mind that this is like limited you know availability this is the only time you'll ever be able to get this and there's other plushies on this website that also are sold for $25.99. So this is like, you know, the base price, I think, that they sell these plushies for. So yeah, $25.99 is uh, pretty standard, at least on this website. And I'm gonna be honest, I bought a uh, Pusheen recently for Halloween. I know Tara likes those. So I asked her, I'm like, hey, do you wanna uh, me to get this like pumpkin Pusheen? And with shipping, it was $40. So Plushies are expensive. Anyone that's that's bought those uh, knows that, especially if you get like a bigger plushie. But I don't think these are like super big plushies, but still, um, does it actually say the dimensions? It probably does, but I just don't see it. But yeah, a little bit expensive, but I mean, it is an exclusive thing. And uh, I mean, it, it looks nice. Like, I'm excited to get this. You also get an in-game plushie, so you can have a virtual plushie with your real one uh, whenever you receive that next year. And uh, and yeah, I'm actually pretty excited for this. So I was skeptical because Wizards never done anything like this before. This is totally new. And yes, they've had that Zazzle store, which I've pulled up here. You know, they have this, but I never really looked at this as like official merch. Like it was just kind of out here and it's been here since like the beginning of the game. I feel like they added some stuff for Caramel, but nothing really too crazy. There's some mugs, a couple shirts. I mean, there's actually a lot of shirts, but there's a mouse pad and some keychains and posters, but I never really thought of any of this stuff as like that great for you know people to to purchase. It never really seemed that official. But this game of plushie, now this is this is a different story here. And no wonder they've sold 1700 because this is something that you know people have been waiting for. And I already bought mine. I actually bought mine like right when it came out. And uh, I think I bought mine when it was under 200 sold. And their goal was to get 200 before they even start producing these. So yeah, they've crushed that goal and I'm sure they're going to sell a lot more in the 27 days that it's still going. But it is cool that they're even doing this. And this is the first pleasure they've ever sold. And let's go back to Wiz here. And I hope that they continue to do stuff like this in the future. Because, I mean, people... <laughs> Something just like fell <laughs> next to me. So... I hope that they continue to do something um, like this in the future because it's obvious that people want, you know, 
physical merch for Wizard 101, especially if they've been playing for a long time. You know, I've been playing this game since 2009. That's when I made this account. And I don't really have that many like merch items uh, from the game. I have like a t-shirt that they sent me from the 10th anniversary. And I have, I think a couple things that I got from the KI offices when I went to visit, but that's pretty much it. Like there's not that much available. And I hope that this kind of, you know, indicates that maybe they should upgrade the Zazzle store or I don't know, make more plushies. Like, okay, imagine we get the game of plushie and then later on they decide to do like a Merle Ambrose plushie. People would definitely buy that. I feel like people might buy the Merle Ambrose plushie more than the Gamma one because Merle is like the most recognizable person <laughs> um, NPC in the game. So I would love a Merle Ambrose plushie. I mean, come on. But yeah, that is uh, something that maybe they'll do in the future. I don't know, but it's a good start. And I hope that they continue to do stuff like this because um, it's obvious that people want it. So that is available and I will put a link to their tweet so you can go check it out if you want to uh, buy it yourself. But yeah, let me know what other plushies you guys think that they might do in the future if they continue to create these because I mean there's obviously plenty of options like what if they did like a gobbler or I don't know some other recognizable like um NPCs or creatures in the game like an elf or something I don't know they could pick so many things um from the game because there's so many like spells and like NPCs and characters that they could choose from even pets like every pet could be made into okay not every pet I mean <laughs> there's a lot of good pets let's just say that that they can make into into plushies there actually already are plushies in the game from that unicorn pack those were plushies and uh they could make those into a irl plushie so i don't know we'll see how far they go with this but yeah i just wanted to make a video on it uh letting you guys know that uh, it is out there for about another month a little less than a month and uh you can get your own gamma so that is going to do it for me with this video just wanted to make people aware that this does exist and to let people know kind of as a follow-up to that tweet that I did actually buy this and maybe someday in 2022 you will get a video of me receiving this plushie and unboxing it. So we'll have to wait and see uh, when that's going to happen. But yeah, thank you guys again for uh, all the support. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like in this video if you have enjoyed it. Also turn on post notifications so you know when I post all my videos. Usually I post like once a week, but I might post twice this week. I might post tomorrow. We'll have to see if I uh, decide to do that. They'll probably be dropping the next test drum in October, so you might as well have post notifications on so you know uh, when I post all those videos. But yeah, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.